Hi, it's James here, and in this Try Now video, I'm going to show you the new approval system built into Google Drive. This is available for Docs, Sheets, and Slides. What it does is it allows you to send your document off to your line manager to have it approved or requested. So maybe, for example, you've got a contract here like we've got on screen here. As you can see, it's a fake one. But what I could do if I wanted to send this to a lead, I could ask my manager to approve it before it gets sent off. To do that, I'd click on File and then click Approvals. And then I'd click Make a Request on the sidebar on the right hand side. I then need to enter the email address in of my manager. In this case, I'm going to put my own email address in for this demo. I can add more than one person to approve the document too. Um, when you do do that, it means every individual that you list as an approval, approver, they have to approve the document before it will be uh, approved and be allowed to be used. You can then put a message in. So I can say, uh, hi James to myself, um, is this document okay, okay to send? So put a message in then got a couple of options. I can add a due date, so I can say, okay, I want it to be due um, today at, by 6 p.m. That's when I need it to be approved by or rejected by, depending on what they decide to do. I can then click an option to allow the approvers to edit the file if I want to. And I can also lock the file before sending it to, sending it for request. This is kind of handy, especially if you've got more than one person who's actually created the file with you, because you don't want them to start making changes in between the time that you've sent this request and the time that the approvers have had a look at the document to approve it. So I'd lock the document if I was you. You then hit send request. It will give you some options here as normal, like if you want to give them comment access or edit access, or we want comment access on this, and I hit send. So that's gone off to the approver, which is me. And as you can see, it's now locked the document, so no one can make any changes to this until the document has been approved. What happens is now, on my other account, I receive an email saying that so-and-so has requested for this document to be approved. What I can then do is open the document, which I'm just bringing into the screen here, and you'll see across the top I've got three options. I can approve, reject, or view details. If I go to view details, I can leave some comments if, we, any, if I need some more information about the document before I can approve it, or I can just hit approve, or I can hit reject. And I can leave a comment as well to say why I've rejected it or why I've approved it, which approving would be like, yeah, that's fine, go ahead, send it. And once I've hit the approve button, that will then approve the document. The document will actually remain locked because it's now been approved. And so no changes can be made to it. And then uh, the, the, the person who's requested approval can then send that document on knowing whatever they wanted approved has been fine and done. If the document gets rejected by the approvers, an email will come into your email inbox saying, hey, this document has been uh, rejected. And this is the reason why, because it allows the person to leave a comment as you as you saw here, if they reject the, reject the document, and then you can go on, do some work on it, and then you can request to have it approved again, once you've done whatever changes need to be done. But that is essentially how the approval system works inside Google Drive. 